<laughs> Mark. <laughs> Morning. Right, have I got a classic dish for you guys. It's Italian, it's probably one of the most famous Italian dishes, spaghetti carbonara. It consists of spaghetti, some mushrooms, some bacon, lots of garlic and parmesan. And that's about it. And we're gonna make a fantastic, simple garlic bread to go with the carbonara. It's gonna be great. Come back a bit later and I'll show you all the secrets. Now it's over to Holly. Great to have you with us in the cafe here in the kitchen. And Mark, you've got a classic Italian pasta dish to share with us today. I've been calling it carbonara, but is it carbonara? Car uh, it sounds better, carbonara. Okay, nice, I don't okay, think it is carbonara. Enough. Okay, yep. what do we need to do? Let's get going. Right, so let's cook the uh, pasta. Yep. So a little bit of spaghetti. So mm -hmm. I've got some boiling salted water to here. Yep. So we're going to chuck that in and a little tip for you. Oh good, we like your tips. A little bit of olive oil in the water. And then when it, it cooks, sticking. it doesn't stick. There you go. There you go, so as it starts going limp you can just push it down, make it sure you don't it's all your hand in there. covered. Yep. Yeah, bring it back up to the boil. Then you can turn it down a bit, simmer it, cook it so it's al dente, so that's just, um, you know, to the bite. So okay. you still want a little bit of texture in there. Not nice raw. work. Right, I've got a pan on now, so I'm going to start the sauce. OK, well, so this is the special part, really, isn't it? You've got to get the sauce right. Well, yeah, if you don't get the sauce right, then it's, uh, well, it's the whole dish. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Right, so we've got some smoked bacon here, so Yum. I'm just going to dice that up. And then yep. we're just going to start with the bacon, and we want to get it nice and, nice and crispy, release all those flavours. So you can put a little bit of oil into that pan. OK, cool. And then we'll start cooking the bacon. A little bit of oil. Is that enough? You need more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the chefs always want more. Just say a lot, a lot of oil with you. Now okay, that's good. Cool. That's yeah, good. Sweet. There you go. Right. Done. So you get the heat up there. So you keep that going. Get a nice colour on that. Yep. Right. And then garlic. So that's one of the main ingredients in there. So I've got some garlic here. So I've just crushed it. So if you just crush it with the uh, the husk on or the skin, it just comes off. Mm -hmm. And then you're left with this. And then, so I'm going to start chopping it. I'm going to use some of the garlic in here, and we're going to chop it really, really fine so it almost dissolves into the sauce. Oh yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to use some of this garlic, and I'm going to make garlic bread. Yum. I love right. fresh garlic bread that you make yourself. So to get this really fine, you just sort of chop it, a little bit of salt on there. OK, why are you putting the salt on it? Well, that's going to act as an abrasive. OK. And you can see, I'm going to start just squashing it like that, running the knife over. And you keep doing that for a couple of minutes, and you'll get this really fine paste. Nice. You know, mean full, of, full of flavour here. Basically dissolved. OK, good tip. Full of good tips today. I know, I know. And then... So you get this really fine. So use some for the sauce, use some for the garlic bread as well. And then just for the garlic, it's really easy, the garlic butter. So you just get some butter, soft butter, and then you just mix in some garlic in there, a bit of salt, some parsley, works really well with garlic, sort of cleans your palate. Mm, yum. And a little bit of lemon as well, it's simple as that. OK, I can see why you don't want big chunks in, because if that's in your garlic bread, you have a big chunk, it might be a bit overwhelming. So <laughs> the finer the better, I guess. Yeah, that's it. And you can see all the oils coming out of there now, so oh, just, just really making crush a paste. it down. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, yeah. OK, nice work. I'll get these bubbles board. along. Wash your board before you chop something on here if you don't want any garlic flavour. Right, it will contaminate everything. <laughs> OK. I remember I did that once with strawberries. Oh, no, I wiped the board and, yeah, they weren't very nice. <laughs> I do like trying different things, but that was, no, that was a bit chef, dodgy. Chefs like creating new flavours, don't they? Well, that's it, yeah. Garlic strawberries didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Right, and then we've got some uh, these beautiful mushrooms here. So these are Swiss brown mushrooms. Nice. So you can use butter mushrooms if you want, but it's quite nice to use Swiss browns if you can see them in the supermarket. Just got an extra little bit of flavour in there. So I'm just going to do some nice chunks on there. And then you can see the bacon starting to get crispy now. I'm just going to add the mushrooms in. I like the um, fact you're using smoky bacon, because I can smell that. It smells really good, doesn't it? Yeah, it just, just gives you a bit more flavour. If you don't like smoked bacon, you can just use uh, normal bacon. Um, or if you want to make it really extravagant, uh, a bit of pancetta as well. It's okay. really nice in there. good. Yeah. Nice. OK, sweet. And then... You're going to so put a little bit of garlic yeah, in there? Yeah, put the garlic in there now. And then you just want to cook that around. So quite a high heat now, so just be careful you don't burn the garlic at this point. OK, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll take a break and we'll come back here very soon and we'll see how you go with the second part of this the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. We have spaghetti to finish, carbonara, and it's smelling fantastic. We've got bacon, we've got garlic, we've got mushroom in here. The uh, spaghetti's bubbling away, it's probably ready soon. And now you're making the garlic butter? Yeah, so nice. just as it's cooking, we'll get a little bit more colour on there. I'm just going to make this garlic butter, so really quick. So just soften butter, just mix it up so it's all one temperature and it's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Put 
A little bit of salt in there. And we're using the garlic that we didn't use previously. So yep. it's all chopped up finely, like there you a go. paste. That's it. Get the garlic in there. So a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> no, it's going to be quite strong, this. <laughs> a little bit of parsley as well. So it works really well with um, garlic butter. Nice. Nice on your palate. Exactly, yeah. Cool. Good work. That goes in there. And a little bit of lemon juice. Oh, OK. What's the reason for putting the lemon juice in? Does it add flavour or does it just help it? Yeah, it just helps season it as okay. well. Nice. So mix all that around and then that's ready to put on your garlic butter. Right, so we're at a good stage now. Yep. So we're going to make the cream part of the dish. <laughs> Cool. So I've got some creme fraiche in there. Yeah. So a little bit of creme fraiche. Just going to whisk that up. And then we want some egg yolks as well. So I'm just going to separate these eggs. OK, good luck. OK. Good man. There okay. you go. Nice easy way to do it. Do you want to do the other one? Oh, no, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be looking for another egg if I try. <laughs> right, so we're going to put the egg yolks in there. And this is going to help thicken the sauce and it really richens the sauce. But you've got to be careful because we're cooking with egg yolks. Yep. So you don't want to put it in a really hot pan or keep it on the heat, otherwise it will split. So we're just okay. looking for a nice thick sauce last minute. So take your pan off the yep. heat. So we're just going to take the pan side. off the heat. All right, we're going to check our pasta now. Cool. So we just have a look in there. So you can sort of see we're not far off, but it's still, if you feel that, it's still a little bit firm. Oh, yeah, it is. So not it's far about, away, though. Yeah, no, no, not far away. Cool. It's probably about another minute away. Right, and then we're going to pour this in here. OK, you don't want to scramble this, do you? No, no, we don't want to scramble this, so we just turned it off the heat. Yeah. And then we're just waiting for that pasta just to cook. And then basically you want to have everything ready at the same time. Yum. Right, and then you can put it straight in there. That oh, little okay. bit of excess water yeah. just from the pasta, that's just going to loosen the sauce and just help you. Oh, okay. nice. Because if, if it gets too thick and too hot, you know, it's going to split. So that little bit of water is just your safety net. You just toss it around pretty much like that. You can see it's nice and thick, it's nice and rich, yeah. it's coated. If it gets too thick as well, a little bit of you pass the water. OK. That's fine. Well, this is so good to see you do this, because a lot of the time I make this and I sometimes end up with big lumps of pasta and the sauce and everything's not mixed well. So that was a superb tip. I am so impressed. Uh, we'll see how it looks by the time we've finished it up and it's on a plate. I'll be ready to eat it, I am sure. <laughs> OK, time for some pasta, Mark. It's looking good. Well, it's looking great. I'm just going to plate it up now. So a nice pile of pasta. Make sure you get the bacon and the mushrooms. Finish it with some Parmesan cheese and that garlic bread on the side. Nice Look work. Ooh, oh, yeah. Garlic bread. There you go. Yum, yum, yum. This looks absolutely delicious. So what are you going to be making for us tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got meatballs on the menu Ooh, with a chilli sauce. Oh, yum.